These are Valorant's best Yoro tips and tricks. And today, I rank them from S to D tier. Clip number 12 will change your game. Three essential Yoru mechanics. You cannot cast your gate crash on top of boxes. However, if you first put down your clone, then suddenly it is possible. It costs yep. a lot of abilities, but it might be useful. If you want to fake the enemies out, place down your clone, cast your gate crash to watch your clone, and when they are on top of each other, cast them both. Now it looks like very you would affect the clone TP. Very underrated play. a blue play. spot on the ground, but maybe the enemies won't notice it and easy flash for you. About to Hard flash, to Game, but very underrated play. The clone. Not very useful because it's unpredictable. However, this also works with the Sova Reckondar. And that's great to spot the big area, my friends. Sub for more tips. So the first one I think is you can also do a double updraft with this play. So this is an S tier. The it, updraft it, with the clone possible. is an it S tier play. This one is uh, I would say it's like maybe like looks a C like tier. TP, it's hard to apply in game, TP. so there it's not that effective. On the ground. And then I would say that this last one, bouncing the flash off of the clone, is just because that's just that's just useless. However, that's like this also works D with the Sova Reckondar, and that's F great tier. to spot the big area, my friends. Are you tired of being in the same elo every act? You hop on Valorant, win a few, lose a few, and then hop off with no improvement. That's because you need Valorant Tracker. They have a great stats overview tab where you can check your headshot percentage, agent win rates, map win rates, and more to see where you need to improve. Another great tool is their live match info tab that gives you details on the entire lobby. But my personal favorite feature, and I talk about this a lot, is their match history tab. I check it every day I play and review exactly when I was playing bad to see how I can turn it around. Stop wasting your time and download Valorant Tracker with the link in the description below. Okay, TP towards sewers. Looks like a 1v2. He's in ult. Old Yoro, oh my god, that pull out time is so good. I like that play. See, this is a real Yoro main. Like, faking the shots and stuff like that. It's like, it's little things like that, that like, a real Yoro main uh, shines with. Good shots. Okay, he doesn't have a fake TP because this is old Yoru. But this like, this like, fake ult and like, TP back to the other side thing is like, such good tech, man. I would say it's S tier, honestly. Another fake shot, and then like the TP's jack. I love it, bro. Nice, man. Really well played. Yeah, that's S tier. I took the entire enemy team with 500 IQ Yoro tricks. Double footsteps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can go with it, and it sounds like three people are pushing. Yeah, and drop drop the spiking, dude. I love it, man. I do this a lot, honestly. Like, you would think that people would be catching on by now, but they still don't know. It still works. I also don't think I've ever seen Jonas play Yoru before. Dude, they completely fall for it. Yeah. Dude, this trick still works. Like, people are a little bit smarter now. They don't over rotate as easily, but like, it still works. I would say that's like. I would say that's it's not S tier. I mean, it still works, but just not super consistently. So I would say it's like an A tier. Hey guys, I'm an immortal free Euro main, and I'm going to show you how you can make a one way flash anywhere. Okay. Usually, people flash the middle edge or doorways. Yeah. You have to wait for Instead, the flash to pop before you aim up. You can peek. Instead, you should be flashing yep. near the top of the doorway so the flash is covered by the roof, allowing yep. you to peek fully with the flash. You can do this on any map. Yep. Here are a few examples. Fracture is good with like it. This to become a better Euro player. Yeah. It takes a little bit of time to get the timing down with it, but once you do it, it's it's so much better. I would say that's S tier, honest. I'm putting a lot of things in S tier. It's just like a lot of this tech is so good. I would say maybe that's not S tier because it's like just super common. Maybe A tier? I, I would put that in A tier actually. High A tier though. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do the thing. Oh, th this is what. Didn't Red create this? This is like the. um. The Uber Yoer ult or something like that. He like drops gun and they have no ammo. I'll handle this. Oh my god. He's just gotta find somebody, yeah. He's got Cypher. Oh my god, dude. God is <laughs> So good, bro. So good. Uh, I would say that's like it's fun to do, but I would say it's like it's not like super realistic all the time. I would say it's like a B tier clip. Like a B tier tech, sorry. Oh, wow. 35 mid, back side. 35. What's up, guys? It's Wuju, your favorite Yoru main. What's up, Wuju? And let me show you guys how to do the silent teleport correctly. The silent right. TP. So first, you huh? guys want to jiggle out. Send your teleport back site. 
You guys want to stand on the edge of the green and yellow grass. Jiggle out, look for this branch, and put your flash right yeah. on the tree. I've never seen this okay, before. This is the most important step. Wait for it. You guys have to teleport the second your flash like bounces yeah. off the wall. Oh, it's just okay. like a okay. Yeah, this is flash, dude, this is like this is textbook Yoro. And teleport. And it should be a perfect silent TP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not 100% silent. That's a little exaggerating, but like, I mean, that's like textbook Yoro flash TP combo. I mean, it's it's like average. I'd say it's like B tier. It's not like super crazy. You can still hear it. People are a lot better now at recognizing it, but mind of a Yoro man. So all of my teammates died and they dropped this the spike on A side. Yours I know truly. I points off of my ultimate. So if I can isolate two 1v1s and win them both, I can get my ult, grab spike, and then TP B. Yep. Anchor the footsteps for Thankfully, mid. Brimstone tries to swing me bridge and loses. I know there's a really good chance that Brimstone calmed it, and somebody's going to be holding it, waiting for me. Now I have my yep. ultimate, my TP set up. I can grab the spike. Ult, classic, grab the spike. man. Classic. And, run B. and I still have the footsteps here, too. Yep. I plant the spike, my TP comes back up. And I throw oh, up dude, this play is so insane, man. Because I'm Yoru and I can TP out pretty easily. Uh, I like to push up aggressively. In dude, I miss when people like had no clue how to play against Yorus. That way I can TP out. Yeah. get a true 1v1. Activate the footsteps. The round's already won. I'm in Viper's head. She can't lose this. The entire match is watching. The spike is down. They have no idea where it's I am. It's over. It's Jover. Yeah. Is that Red's Smurf account? What? <laughs> is that Red Smurf account? Triple S above every single other clip in the entire video because, uh, yeah, I made it. Instead of using it in the middle, use it a little bit to the right of the teleporter. It will bounce against the door, go back. Yeah, that's a good lineup. Behind you. I don't use this one if a lot. enemies are looking at you, they will get flashed and you can kill them easy peasy. When playing with Yuru, throw your flashbang so the enemies has as little time as possible to react. So in this case, don't throw it against the wall on site, but throw it against the window. Or even better, use the ground. Eh. You have to be careful with this one though, because you might flash yourself. I don't, I don't know. That's like I would put that like in C tier. Those flashes Mount were kind of bad in my opinion. To place two There's way better flashes. After that, you can activate them from anywhere on the map. Here we've no got way. another gate crash. Um, yeah, C tier. Top of ramps. The ability makes mid. a lot of noise, so notice how he waits till everyone's in combat before taking it in. Holy shit, it's an old split, man. God, old split was so bad. Are they lost? Oh, so we're in iron. Oh, so we're in bronze. Oh, yo, what rank is this? Dude, I don't think that enemy team has ever seen a Yoro in their life. There was zero reaction to, pull to that TP. Everyone out mid before hitting them with the mix up and getting deep behind enemy lines with the gate crash teleport. This guy sounds like a sports announcer. The gate crash teleport. Dude, this is like. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. Like, old Yoru? Look, he's still unaware. Old Yoru, you could do anything, bro. Like, the most blatant TPs people would recognize. earlier today when I was testing out Yoru. I noticed it was really beneficial to walk up behind the fake out footsteps. Even better with clone now. Like, you can tell that's the decoy cut. Because they, they think it's right. Yeah. Yoru throws some footsteps into the teleporter to see if anyone shoots before they jump in. Then they spin around and drop the gate crash TP inside, and the rest is self explanatory. Yeah, and TP back behind him. Yep. Oh my god. Yoru's ult is great for fact finding missions. As we see here, he gets. Um, a I guess those are like multiple texts. So far, I would put all of those texts in like B tier. They're kind of mid now. Like, you, you can't really get away with them anymore. Drop the op in favor of a rifle and can now use that info to decide if they want to peek or not. Yeah, I mean, that's like. <laughs> See long to defender spawn. Dude, I remember like I think the very first TikTok I ever posted was this lineup. Yeah. All you have to do is flash your cross, get into this corner, and it's gonna get you from this corner all the way to the enemy spawn. I don't I don't know if I am actually the one who created yeah. it, nope. but like a site tote tacker. At least I thought spawn. I did. Get out of my way. Yeah, that's a good one too. Amazing, yeah. Dude, the spawn TV lineups are so good now. Yeah, man. 
mid boiler tote tackers. The icebox one is probably one of the better ones because nobody ever goes up that high. You, like, you can't you can't even hear it when you TP this far back, unless they're close. Yeah, yeah I love spawn TPs. I would say like B tier, because like Tokavi. <laughs> Tokavi. I would say it's like spawn TPs are like B tier because like you got to be in the right situation, right place, right time, kind of thing. Clone him. Oh my god, this guy's perma blind. Well played. How to rush and flank at the same time with Yuru. First, cast your E to the place where you want to flank to. In this case, I want to flank through mid, so I cast my E to middle. Then, just rush the side with your teammates. And then TP late. Keep an eye on when your E will disappear. Yeah. When you got the side with your team, or your E is almost over, teleport back to your gate crash. From here, you're gonna go shift, sneaky peeky, walk to the back of the enemies. Even you know what's I even better in my in my experience? Easy peasy. It's not terrible. I would say this is like a maybe like a C or D tier uh, strat. Okay. Because right. if the enemy team played correctly, they should be playing through mid and should even like let you Good. do that. But I think what's even better is like taking sight and then using your TP to like send it to their spawn and get an even bigger flank off. I think that's even better. That you need to know. Did you know that you oh, this is my boy Rem. I love Rem. Run with its melee out. To do this, just drop your weapon before activating the clone. Yeah. And he will spawn with his melee out. This is this, this is cool. Faster and further than a regular clone would. You can also yeah. use Yoru's teleport to get on top of spots you normally couldn't reach. The knife clone is good, but it's not super. It's a little bit practical, but like, eh, it's not like super effective. I would say like maybe like C tier. Activate a Yoru clone in the, the Yoru updraft, yep. Jump and S tier. Teleport. Without this a doubt, S tier. Multiple spots like top C side on Haven, and you yep. can also do this on split B site in the top corner, or even on top of the defender spawn wall on a set. Yep. For more Yoru tips, check out my full guide. And even better tip to that is like you can set your tp up there you don't even have to take it right away and then like as they're attacking site you could flash and then take the tp like kind of behind them as they're taking site it's even better if you enjoyed that video watch this one next and follow on twitch to watch me live link in the description